The baking sun soon drives beachgoers back into the surf. But the real danger of Bondi isn't sharks or stingrays. It's dangerous currents, known as rips. There's a big rip this year. Can you see this, can you see this water going out here? Could you please make your way back to shore? This is a non-swimming area. With low tide approaching, the rips strengthen. South Bondi becomes increasingly treacherous. There's just a couple of people down in uh, South Corner. No great drama right now, but um, it's definitely worth getting down there. Yeah, it can be that. I almost did a lot. But there are now five swimmers in trouble, and suddenly the situation is urgent. Oh. A non swimming area. Danny heads in and signals for immediate assistance. With multiple rescue victims and only one lifeguard, it is a dangerous scenario. Bobby backs up. Uh, jump up the front there. Jump on as well. They're fling your legs around the side like the other girls. There are still too many swimmers to take in at once against the fast flowing rip. On, you girls, go to there. Get over there. Then, as Danny struggles to rescue four swimmers, another swimmer closer in begins to flounder. They've picked up two or three. There's another one. Yeah, you might maybe worse the paddle as well, Tom. I'm gonna have a tube down here. With no life-saving equipment to assist him, Tom bolts in, putting his own life at greater risk. Now, the whole group is being dragged over the reef. Danny and Bobby struggle to rescue a group of teenagers caught in Backpacker's Rip. Tom had no option but to rescue a fifth swimmer without rescue equipment, breaking a lifeguard's golden rule. From 200 metres away, off-duty lifeguard Itchy drags in a third rescue board. Pretty much everyone's in the water. Dean's down north. I'm the only one up here, so it's pretty much not much we can do at the moment. It's impossible to paddle against Backpacker's Rip with so many on the overladen boards. Just do it, babe. Just hold on this one. Thanks, mate. Danny enlists the help of a local surfer who takes one of the girls. The team begins relaying the victims to shore. What could easily have been a multiple drowning becomes a joyride. <laughs> and a tough lesson in the danger of rips. We have a hold of hands and stuff. Yeah. And we're like, I love you, this and that. We're gone. Yeah. I'm gone and stuff. We're probably going to die. Yeah. You see these yellow dangerous current signs? Gotta make sure you're no, looking down and not. I was Thank like, God, they're here, we would have been gone. And I was full shivering, I'm like this, I was so scared. Thank, Thank you, you very, Thank very you much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, boys. I love you, boys. I love you, boys. Yeah, I love you, boys. You saved our lives. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> After a false shark alarm cleared the beach earlier in the day, the last thing lifeguards want is another unnecessary panic. But a mysterious shadow has again appeared in the water. Waverley Council lifeguards to Bondi and North Bondi Surf Clubs. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know we have a, a visual again on the same stingray, possibly cruising along the beach again. So we just advise at no stage, can you guys hit the alarm, please? But even the boys in blue aren't exactly sure what the mysterious shadow is. I thought it was weird at first glance, but uh, I pulled the bike up and it's moved like five metres in it, 30 seconds.
Who better to investigate than the youngest and bravest team member, Maxi? They said it's a massive stingray. They want you to go down and check it out now. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Maxi. <laughs> Well, I think he's under the impression that it's a fairly large stingray, but I think he's going to be sorely mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's a clump of seaweed. <laughs> he's getting ready just to jump back on your board, eh? <laughs> With Maxi reluctant to make contact, Reedy boldly steps in. Not seaweed, not a stingray, not a shark. It's a school of feeding catfish. The question is, was this mistaken for the troublesome stingray spotted before? It's been here this morning, it's caused shark alarms to go off, it's caused all sorts of havoc. That, that before was a stingray, that's probably a coincidence. But that's the thing we're talking about. If that was something different then, we hit the alarm, you know what I mean? That's, that's why we... Try to investigate. Yeah. yeah. Next on Bondi Rescue, two days trapped in a cave. Oh, stand there, stand there, oh. Taking matters into your own hands. Don't do it. Oh, and a very Aussie Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! Here we go. Merry Christmas to the lifeguards, helpers. More oh, yummy. Oh. For more lifeguard action, go to bondirescue.com.